Hello everybody and welcome back to Strange Horticulture. We just hit the end of day five, so let's continue. Oh, my end day is not working. There we go. We've got another dream sequence. Oh yes, we need to stick the card. The old man of Coniston works not across the lake. Oh, looks out across the lake with blind eyes. I think I have blind eyes. I can't read that. His mind wanders with the current, floating gently southwards to the fork. Mm. Not long after the girl left home, her father wept, but he was so caught up in his own grief that he let her go and did not look for her. Day 6, Wednesday. The old man of Corniston looks out across the lake with blind eyes. Corniston. His mind wanders with the current, floating gently southwards. Corniston. I think you can actually zoom in further on this map. You can. Swinside? Gosforth? Beckfoot? Corniston? Corniston? Kendall? Corniston? I don't see it anywhere. Corniston? Oh, the old man. Where's the old man of Corniston looks out across the lake with blind eyes. His mind wanders with the current, floating gently southward to the fork. I'd say this is old man. Um there i suppose yep the heavens open up as i reach the fork i take a moment to pause and listen to the sound of water on water i'm soaked through but my spirits are high as i return home i am not empty-handed two new plants today you know i don't think it's stopped it stopped raining since i started playing you know it's been raining for like what Six straight days now, new plants acquired. They look exactly the same. They're going to be incredibly hard to identify. Especially because they're all bunched up on each other. Yeah, let's move them out a bit. There we go. Dark purple flowers and light purple flowers. The smell is alluring. Right, well, let's... Elino Brahma. The insects make the salt marshes in uninhabitable. People stay away and not much grows there, but I know where to find an unusual plant. I've drawn you a map in case you decide it's worth your time. Plants are always worth my time. That map is not. What's this? <laughs> but it's the worst map I've ever seen. What is this? Uh, no, I don't think it's that bit. Um... Oh wow, wow, this this map is This map is useless to me. Okay, is this the sea? Or is that a lake? Hello. Um I'd say it's this bit, but that's that's a stretch. Let's look on the bigger map for something that looks like this. Uh, no, it's not going to be that. Maybe by a big body of water. Maybe the sea. Come here. Ah. 
this bit. Okay, so it bends around like that. Then there's a little tiny There's a... okay. I want to say it's here. What's this? Is that... is that this? So it's there? Nothing here. Okay, it's not there. But it's... Maybe it's... Which one did I go to? Oh, I should have looked at... Okay, let's let's water the plants. Um, I can see this taking a while. There we go. That's that watered. Let's look again, shall we? I say that one. I'm pretty sure I went for that one. Okay, the scrolling is a bit awkward. So it's not that one. Is it even... I don't know, it must be that little shaded bit. I'm pretty sure it's because that hag has a little thing like that. But it's not this one. This one? Ah. The air is thick with flying, biting insects, an unbearable plague. I fight against it for mere moments before I am overwhelmed. If only I had some blue winter to keep me at bay. We do in fact have some of this. Maybe. Yes we do. Plant identified winter ball. Book entry. Dranthium. Ah, I clicked it. Ah, no. Okay, we'll get that in a moment. The blue winter saves my skin, but the swirling mass of insects is so thick in places that it is hard to see. At length, I come across what I came for and hurry away. Okay, that has brightly coloured thorns. Okay. Let's put you up here with the other thorns. That's And we've done that. Good. That's That's one clue done. I'm not on a good record for completing clues, but... Janthium. A plant with powerful mind-altering abilities. Those who inhale the smoke from burning its long, sharp leaves elevate their awareness to levels otherwise unachievable. Some know Janthium as Green Eye, a name derived from the telltale sign of overdose where even the whites of the eyes take on a green hint. Okay. This one? Uh, it doesn't mention anything about flowers. But we don't have any flowerless plants that we haven't identified yet. I think we're going to have to wait to identify the Dranthium. Okay, and what did we find? We found one plant just... what was it? Did we? Ah, yes, this one. Those thorns look menacing. I'm staying well clear of them. I would say that's a mushroom. We did pick up Henchuck. No. What was the other one we picked up called Jacob's Worth? No. Was it Jacob's Worth? No. Dranthium? No. Did we already find it? No. Am I going mad? That's not about thorns. Or is it? No. 
Nope. 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 Eye bright. Take care not to touch these brightly coloured thorns. Hmm. It doesn't say anything about a flower, but I'm going to assume this is eye bright. Fantastic. Okay, let's ring the bell. Bethany Coleman is back. Thank you for your help and discretion earlier. The Sisterhood is grateful, but the news that the Arda was poisoned with Gilded Dendra has everyone worried. The temporary acting Arda is panicking. I, I probably shouldn't be telling you this, but one of the sisters has gone missing. A runaway called Thea that we took in a few years ago. Maybe that's his daughter. Maybe he has several daughters, I don't know. We're trying to find her and Sister Charlotte. We're trying to find her, and Sister Charlotte remembered that the Jacob's Worth plant is said to help locate people. Unfortunately, I haven't located the Jacob's Worth, so you're going to have to wait just a moment while I work out my own inventory. Terribly unprofessional. It'd be so much easier if the uncle had been like, oh yeah, I'll you know label my plants properly. It's not going to be that one. Not that one. It's not that one. It's not that one. Nope. Nope. Oh, it might be this one. But it, it is the leaves. Oh, it has said they'll point the way to this one. Ah, the leaves have a mind of their own. Solomon's Scepter. Also known alarmingly as Hell's Gate and sometimes Solomon's Scorn, the flowers of the plant are commonly used in witchcraft and other satanic practices. Many sweet-smelling small flowers grow along the stem. Hmm. Get the mouse out the way. Was it Solomon's scepter? Many sweet smelling small flowers grow along the stem. This one? I would say it's that one. Oh, that's a point. Did I label that other one red? Yes, I did. Um, this one might be Dranthium, then. Maybe. M long, sharp leaves elevate their... Mm, I don't know. Um... Yum, that is a very risky red. Let's ring the bell. Arthur Cook. It's my wife's birthday, and I wanted to get her something special. There was a plant that she used to love as a child, but she hasn't been able to find any in years. It's sort of bulb-like and has a strong smell to it, but strong in a good way. And oh, the flower is more like lots of little flowers. So it's not this one. This one? Okay. I, I love the way they just kind of disappear and fade into the background. It's kind of creepy. Okay, let's ring the bell. Ennis Aylford. We've had our eye on you for some time now. Jo join us? Praise the Dendru? Um. N no? 
just just when I was talking about creepy somethings, that was a creepy something. I represent a group called the Seeds of Redemption. Your expertise would be very useful to us, and we have much to offer in return. Let us know we can count on you by bringing a single St. John's poppy flower outside the Sad Guild Church before Friday. Do not make the mistake of ignoring us. Praise the Dendru. Oh no, I have been... I have been conscripted to join a cult. Oh, um... Oh no, uh, I, I don't know what to do with this. The Sad, Sad Guild Church, where is that? Sad Guild Church. Uh, oh, um... I... I... Um... Oh, uh, I... I... I do not know what to do. I don't... Do not make the mistake of ignoring us. I am threatened. Okay, um... What day is it? It's a Wednesday. Um... Uh, okay. <laughs> um, I'm gonna ignore that. Verona Green. I have returned from Swinside. I must, I must admit, I was hoping for more to go on, but there were certainly signs of a ritual having been performed at the Stone Circle. And the poor victim, well, the less said about him, the better. Reuben had it right though, grisly. I have the beginnings of a theory, but I'd like to run some tests on a sample of the Gilded Dendra. Uh, considering that's a murder weapon, I'm not sure I'm comfortable giving it to you, since you have no problem scaring away small children. Um, I can't exactly tell her no. Oh, I like the cult. Maybe I should just join the cult. Maiden Sorrow. I'm doing bad things anyway, so I may as well make it official, right? <laughs> Maiden Sorrow. Rubbing the soft leaves of this plant between one's finger and thumb is said to help prevent the mind from wandering, providing a focusing effect. The flowers of this plant droop mournfully, but it is the thorns along its stem that are thought to lend it its name. Interesting. We have a couple of... a couple of plants with thorns. Was it ladies? Maiden Sorrow. That is the only one we have with a droopy flower, so I'd say that's Maiden Sorrow. Uh, which kind of helps establish this one as Eye Bright. Yeah. If I join the cult, Anne Wood. My aunt died two weeks ago, and I inherited her house. I have been sifting through her possessions, and last night I found something unusual. In a forgotten corner of the attic I found a coffin. More unusual still, it was bound by strong vines. So strong that I cannot cut through them. I immediately thought of your shop. You know about plants, right? Royal... Gentia. This one? Plants identified. Collect. Elder Finium. The petals of this flower can be brewed to create an antidote to dangerous miasma. A deadly poison that causes the blood to slowly turn black, eventually resulting in a painful death. It has an intoxicating scent similar to that of the Solomon Scepter. It also looks quite unique. I'm not sure we have any of it. It doesn't look like it, does it? Uh, right, should we join the cult? No, nope, that's a next episode problem. Okay, well, that's the end of the day. End of day six, end of episode six. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye!